writing to your local paper and sharing your story not only can bring it to the attention of your MP, but also you're doing the job of that awareness raising. Mm. You know, if you talk about those five symptoms, about the regularity of those, um, you know, anyone who reads it, and again, this isn't just for women to become more aware. It's very important that men are also aware of the signs and the symptoms so that they can say, mm, you know, maybe you should go and mention this to the GP. Maybe I read this article, this one was telling that story in the local paper. And, you know, they thought it was this, you know, IBS or this, that and the other. And it turns out it was ovarian cancer. And um, so, you know, th that can be so, so powerful. Um, it, it, again, just sort of, you know, for people who are active on social media, again, sharing their story, there on Twitter or Facebook to get the message out there, especially people who've, um, you know, been through it um, and have got their story to tell. It is so, so powerful. There's nothing more um, powerful than, than hearing someone's story. And we all want that story to have a happy ending. Sometimes it does, you know, for a short period of time, maybe people have lived longer than they, they, they would have done. Um, sometimes people go on, you know, and live, you know, long and die of their, you know, in old age. Um, but people do like to, to, to read about these things and it just gets that awareness um, out there. We don't want anyone um, being diagnosed in a &E, um, anymore because they're in acute pain. Um, you know, we want this to be, you know, something that they pick up and take to their GP or, you know, that their GP goes, oh, maybe, the, you know, I think I'll just get you, don't worry, but I think I'll just get you tested. Um, you know, to see if it could be ovarian cancer. That's that's what we want at the earliest stages as possible.